Ideally, the majority of our meals and snacks would be based on whole, real foods like the ones behind me, fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. However, in this busy day and age, we do need to have some flexibility, and so we're gonna walk you through some of the aisles to help you choose the healthier versions of some of the box items that find our way into our pantries. As a mother of two children, ideally I would have time to make them a wonderful breakfast, whether it's eggs or Greek yogurt with fresh berries, but I'm also a realistic mom. And so on those mornings that you need something quick, cereal can definitely play a role. Typically I aim for about 80% of the foods that we're eating in our home to be wholesome, fresh, and based on real foods, um, but there is a role for some packaged items as well. And so when it comes to cereal in the mornings, there's a couple key things that I'm going to look for. First off, I'm always going to opt for products that have seven or less ingredients if possible. This means that it's going to be much less processed than some of its counterparts. The other thing I'm going to watch for, especially in the morning, is the sugar content. And so when you look at the label, uh, four grams of sugar is actually equal to about one teaspoon. So anytime you can get those grams of sugar down three, four grams, you're actually saving a teaspoon of sugar from your children's breakfast. And then as you continue to look at um, the label here, uh, you can see that if it has fiber, it's going to be a little bit more helpful. It's going to have a little bit more of a sustaining effect for them as they head off to school. So ideally, it'd be more than five grams of fiber. So this would be a product that would work in our household. And other items such as brand cereals have a good role as well. Food companies are really responding to the way that we are spending our food dollars. And one way that you'll notice that is there are a lot of products that are coming out with much less ingredients. If you look at this label here, there's going to be only three ingredients on the list. And so what they're trying to do is have a less processed, healthier options for those that want to keep crackers in their diets. And so a couple of things to look at again is aim for seven or less ingredients and specifically try to be able to pronounce all the ingredients on the label. If you're able to recognize and pronounce every ingredient, it's probably a better sign that it's a healthier product for you and for your family. The other aspect that you can look at is for crackers is to really aim for the higher fiber options. This is going to be um, a little bit healthier than something that's more refined and has less fiber. So if you can find a cracker that has three grams or more of fiber per serving, fantastic. Another big surge is something looking at some options that are gluten-free for uh, families that need to uh, include gluten-free products in their life. And so again, look at the ingredient list. Um, you'll notice the fiber is a little bit less in gluten-free, so really the goal there is purchasing products that work best with um, some intolerances or food allergies that may be present in the home. Uh, so although the fiber is a little bit less, what I'm looking for here again is a list of ingredients that I recognize right away. As you're looking for an easy grab-and-go source of protein, a lot of times people ask about nuts and seeds and different bars. I actually prefer to use some of these easy 100 calorie packs of almonds and walnuts or various other nuts because the ingredient list, as you can see, it only includes nuts, which are gonna be a whole food source of protein and give you three grams that will help to sustain you as you're moving throughout your day. Now, if you want something that's a little bit sweeter, there are other options that you can consider. You do want to be careful of the health halo effect that several of these bars have garnered over time. These can be a nice snack that you can rely on throughout the day or to put into your purse on an emergency occasion, but you don't want to necessarily have to rely on them on a day-to-day -day basis more than at the most once a day. And so some of the better brands that I would consider are going to be uh, the Kind Bars and mostly because, again, the ingredient list is going to be short and it's going to include really heart healthy nuts and seeds. For a little bit more uh, tasty treat, if you're looking for a little bit of a sweet treat, um, but that will also give you some protein in your diet, the Lara Bars are a good option. As you look at the ingredient list on this package, you'll see three easily recognized ingredients, dates, peanuts, and sea salt. So as you can see, there's a lot less processed options that are out there and available for you.